हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे द टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एसिडन बेसिस आई एम टेकिंग बोथ ऑफ द थिंग्स एसिडन बेसिस टुगेदर लाइक इफ वी आर टेकिंग एसिड द टेस्ट इज सार वी हैव डन इट हियर इन बेस टेस्ट इज बिटर एसिड कन्वर्ट ब्लू लिटमस टू रेड वाइल बेस कन्वर्ट रेड लिटमस टू ब्लू ओके both acid and bases are corrosive in nature what do we mean by corrosive corrosive meaning corrosive meaning if they are affecting the surface like metal they produce eruption in the skin they causes burns in the skin they cause eruptions in on rocks also and bases also are corrosive in nature and that's why it is advised not to never to touch or taste acid or base on the bottles of acid this type of sign is present that denotes danger this sign okay now the third difference i am taking is reaction of acids with metals remember students all acids when react with metals evolve out hydrogen gas but which metals with which metals with reactive metals reactive metals meaning students metal which are present above hydrogen in the reactivity series i have given you the reactivity series friends so whatever metals are placed above hydrogen they have tendency to displace hydrogen and from the acids and that hydrogen evolves out as hydrogen gas here i am taking example students like zinc plus hydrochloric acid hcl zinc is more reactive than hydrogen it is placed above in the reactivity series on hydrogen it is placed above hydrogen that means in the reactivity series zinc plus twice of hcl we are getting salt and hydrogen gas evolves out so in the nutshell we can say whenever metals react with acids they produce salt and hydrogen gas evolves out is it clear students second example i have taken here is zinc metal is reacting with h2so4 sulfuric acid here salt we are getting znso4 and hydrogen gas is evolving out sodium metal reacting with hcl again sodium is more reactive than hydrogen that's why it displaces this hydrogen displacement reaction is taking place single displacement single displacement reaction so here what we are getting nacl and hydrogen gas is evolving out now how to prove that hydrogen gas is evolving out so for proving that we are taking one activity suppose in a test tube i am taking granules of zinc metal small pieces of zinc metal and when h2so4 in the dilute condition is added dilute h2so4 mixed with water is added into this test tube hydrogen gas start evolving out and that hydrogen gas passes through this delivery tube have and that delivery tube is opening in a trough containing water the hydrogen which is lighter start evolving out bubbles of hydrogen can be seen if we bring a burning match stick near the bubbles which are evolving out then that bubbles burn with popping sound actually the hydrogen gas is there and students i am telling you one more thing that this is soap water action in soap water the size of bubble is large large amount of gas is present in that bubble and which gas hydrogen gas and as you bring this burning splinter near the bubble it burst with popping sound this proves that the evolving gas is hydrogen okay students one more thing in case of bases now i am telling you some bases not all some bases like naoh koh can also evolve hydrogen gas but 
in less amount. Hydrogen evolves with <coughs> with basis less amount of hydrogen gas evolves out in comparison to acid. Here I am taking some of the equations like NaOH when reacting with zinc metal it gives Na2ZnO2 plus hydrogen gas evolves out. What is the name of this Na2ZnO2? It is sodium zincate. It is sodium zincate. It is very important students. can be asked in your board exam. This particular reaction I am talking about. Same NaOH if reacting with aluminium in presence of water. We are getting sodium meta aluminate Na AlO2. It is sodium meta aluminate. Okay. And hydrogen gas is evolving out. Next reaction which I am taking students is very very important and 100% sure that this reaction can be asked in the board exam because this reaction will be covered in two chapters. That's why probability is more. So what is that reaction? Reaction of acids we are doing students. Reaction of acid with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate. Whenever acid reacts with these two, either this or this, metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate, brisk effervescence of CO2 evolves out. This is the main thing, students. Brisk effervescence of CO2 evolves out. So here I have taken some reactions like HCl acid, hydrochloric acid. I am taking reacting with sodium carbonate, metal carbonate, Na2CO3. So what we are getting? Salt we are getting, that is NaCl. Carbon dioxide, brisk effervescence evolving out along with the formation of water. Next, this time I have taken metal carbonate. Another time, next time I am taking metal bicarbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate. One and the same thing. So, hydrochloric acid when reacting with metal bicarbonate, again we are getting salt, carbon dioxide and water. Same products we are getting. Either carbonate or bicarbonate. Now, how to test here that carbon dioxide is evolving out? Like in the above case, we tested hydrogen gas by popping sound. How to test the presence of CO2? CO2, you have done in lower classes also, that can be tested by passing carbon dioxide in lime water. Lime water test. What is the formula of lime water? Calcium hydroxide. We have done, done in previous chapter also students, slaked lime. So carbon dioxide when passed pass into lime, we are getting white PPT of calcium carbonate along with the formation of water. So how can we know that CO2 is evolving out? By passing it in lime water. If lime water is turning milky, this is colorless here and if that lime water is changing to milky because of formation of this white PPT, we can say that carbon dioxide is present. One more thing, very important students, again I am saying that what happens when excess of CO2 is passed in lime water? Excess of CO2. Here previously the lime water was becoming milky but continuing, if we are continuing passing this CO2 in it, what will happen? That lime water again become colorless. Like here, I have taken CaCO3 plus H2. Firstly, it is turning milky. More amount of CO2 is passed into it. What is happening? CaHCO3 whole twice. That is calcium bicarbonate we are getting. And calcium bicarbonate is colorless. That milkiness was due to presence of calcium carbonate but as calcium bicarbonate we are getting it is colorless. 
So these two reactions are very important students, do it nicely. I am coming to the base now. When bases react with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate, no reaction takes place. Because metal carbonates or bicarbonates are already slightly basic in nature. So bases do not react with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate. As we have done some of the properties of acid and bases, but I know that many of the students are not having still the concept of acid and base that what is actually the acid and bases are. So, I am taking one concept given by scientist Arrhenius. According to him, substance which furnish out H plus ions or hydronium ion in the aqueous solution. Meaning students, whenever substance if dissolve in water giving out H plus or hydronium ion, H3O1 positive is called hydronium ion, then the substance is regarded as acid. Substance which furnish out H plus or H3O1 positive in the aqueous solution is considered as acids. Similarly, what will be basis then? If a substance which furnish out OH negative, which we call hydroxyl ions in aqueous solution, then the substance is termed as basis. That means for proving the Arrhenius concept, presence of water is required because substances are dissolved in water. Aqueous solution we are saying in both of the cases. So when the substance dissolved in water producing H plus or H3O1 positive, it is acid. And if it is producing OH negative, then it will be base. Okay. Here I have taken some examples students like HCl. When dissolved in water, it will firstly split into H plus and Cl negative. H plus and Cl negative. Okay. This H plus actually combines with water. Water is H2O and H plus if getting added into it, what do we get? H3O, one positive. One positive of hydrogen, H is getting added here. So 2, ki jage wo kya ho jayega? 3. So H3O, one positive and we call this H3O as hydronium ion and Cl1 negative. Similarly, HNO3, nitric acid if I am taking, dissolving in water. What will happen here? Again, this H plus and NO3, one negative will split out into ions. So, here also, this H2O is taking this H plus and forming H3O1 positive and nitrate NO3, one negative ion is coming out. So, again, since this HNO3 is furnishing out H3O ion, that's why it is acid. HCl is furnishing out H3O ions or H plus ion. That's why it is a acid. Okay. I'm telling you the example of bases also, students. Bases are the substances which dissolve in water, furnish out hydroxyl ion. Okay, so NaOH is a base, you know. NaOH, how it is a base? Because it is furnishing out OH negative. NaOH when dissolve in water, produces Na positive, OH negative, where in the water itself, that's why I have written aqueous. So Na positive and OH negative since hydroxyl ion we are getting by this NaOH, that's why NaOH is regarded as base. Similarly, KOH, potassium hydroxide, mixed with water, water added in water, gives K plus and OH negative, hydroxyl ion. If I am taking calcium hydroxide, lime water, slaked lime, CaOH hold twice, plus water, it will also break into ions, Ca2 positive and here we are having 2 OH negative, 2 OH hydroxyl ions are there, so 2 OH negative, since OH negative we are getting, hydroxyl ion we are getting, that's why CaOH hold twice is considered as base, here 
L O H whole thrice. That means how many O H groups are there? Three. So on dissolution in water, they split into ions. And what are the ions? L three positive and three O H one negative this time. So we have taken arrhenius acid and bases, friends. Today we will take some more example in the next class. And if you are finding any difficulty, you can. Tell me on my personal WhatsApp. Thank you, sirs.